Hey guys, it's Kush, and welcome to my All Something Familiar series. This was recommended by one of you guys, and since I got my 9 and something, this seems like the best time to do it for me. In this series, I will go over every RuneScape Something Familiar. I will tell you guys the level you need for it, some interesting facts about it, and what it can do. So the first Something Familiar is the Spirit Wolf. This is the pouch, and these are the scrolls. It is the level of 1 Something Familiar. It has a combat level of 26, its maximum hit is um, uh, 40, and it, in combat it gives attack experience. The special attack of this, what it basically does, is when you use it, it will get the monster that you're attacking to go away. This does not work on bosses or some some high level monsters. And the bad thing about it is, after you have used this scroll, the monster goes away for a second, giving you a chance to run away, but it comes back eventually and starts attacking you again. Next we have meerkat pouches. These are acquired from treasure trails, there's no other way to get them. You require level 4 something for these, it has no combat levels so it can't attack, it doesn't have a max hit or anything and the only thing it's good for is when you're doing a clue scroll and you come up on the place where you have to dig to get the casket or something uh, you can cast a fetch casket scroll that's what these are and you will basically dig, you don't have to have a spade for that once you dig there will be no more things to attack like the god stuff that appears when you're doing clue scrolls like the zamrock mage and stuff so those won't come once you have summoned this next we have the dreadfowl pouch this is a level 4 something familiar, its combat level is 26 and has a max hit of 40. You can interact with this familiar to give you a plus 1 farming boost, just interact and boom. 1 farming level boost. It has a scroll called the Dread Foul Strike Scroll and it can do a maximum hit of 30. It is a magic based attack, meaning once you attack somebody with it, like this skeleton right here, it will give magic XP in combat. And that's the only thing it's good for. People usually don't use this familiar because it's not really a good combat familiar, familiar and it doesn't last too long. Another thing the Dreadfowl can do is instead of you having to use the stri the scrolls every time it can randomly do its special attack and it w will not use up any scrolls so that's the only good part about it I guess. Next we have the Spirit Spider pouch. This is the pouch and these are the scrolls. It is a level 10 something familiar. It has a combat level of 25 and a max hit of 30. It has a controlled combat style meaning when it attacks in combat you will get attack strength and defense XP and it has a random chance of producing red spider eggs which can be sold for decent profit. It's generally not seen as a combat familiar but the only thing people use it for is to make some decent money. When you would cast an egg spawn scroll, it's special scroll, it has a chance of spawning red spider eggs around you and these I've heard that it's really good profit for lower level players and it can make decent money. But there is also a chance that it will not spawn spider eggs so there's not a hundred percent chance it will do it and it seems like I'm having battle like right here maybe it's just a combat ring but it is some decent money oh I know why it wasn't spawning spider eggs it can only spawn spider eggs outside so make sure you're outside I'm clearly in my house right now that's the only reason but it is a really good from something familiar for lower level players so the question for today is what is your favorite runescape pet mine is obviously the monkey this is like the best pet out there after I got my 99 or 96 I think 96 94 something uh, I got this right away it's my favorite animal in real life as well it's really good so what's your favorite runescape pet but that's pretty much it for this video guys it was a short episode because I only did four familiars next time I'll try to do more and get more footage in here so we can end this series earlier but that's pretty much it for this video guys thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time